y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl Nicola. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's your girl Nicola. I your girl Nicola. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for choosing this video and this channel to watch today. And since you're new, since you're new, please do this one thing for me. Subscribe. Subscribe because I heard I'm um, not I really want to spread the news, but never tell you what time. It's news spreading time. That if you subscribe to my channel, it brings nothing but good luck and happiness. So please go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> if you're not new here, you're a returning member. You are a royal member of this here kingdom. Thank you for coming back. I you know what I always tell you. So me love you a long time. Because that's true, but love you a long time. Thank you so much for coming back. Alright guys, so today, um... I'm just going to be showing you how I got this hairstyle done. And I must point out that this hairstyle is like four days old now. Four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, un, do, tua, cat. Four days old. And I mean, I think it's still neat. My ends may be a little bit trashy or whatever. Because I sleep on this part. You know, it's not kept under the bonnet. But... But my hair is still neat. So it's, you know, it was done well. Kudos to my hairdresser, Munchi. She does a thing for this. In the video that you'll be seeing, she doesn't want her face to be shown. And I mean, I'm choosing my hair, so it doesn't really matter. So you see her cute little fingers, her fat little fingers. <laughs> then my hair. Munchi, if you're watching this video, a finger them cute and fat and so my own short and fat, so see? Yeah. So, ah, uh, yeah, enough yapping. Please, watch the tutorial right here. So, she is styling one of the bigger carnos, the very first big one. As you can see, she did one of the smaller ones already, but I didn't really catch that. My bad. So, what she is doing is what's called an inside cornrow. So, you can see she's turning the hair um, on the inside rather than taking it out. So, it just it's just the opposite side of a normal braid. That's it. I can still see some um, faded color in my hair, guys. Can you see that? So, what happened was, I just went up to my cousin's house. So, I'm just sitting in the yard right now on some random corner. And I asked Munji um, to style my hair. So, that's what she's doing. So, don't mind us in our yard clothes. <laughs> yeah, but as you can see, the corner is getting, it's going very well. It looks very neat. Um, You guys might recognize that each time um she tries to braid my hair, she is passing me the hair that has been torn out because my hair is very dry. Um, it's breaking off like, whoa. My hair wasn't really detangled prior to this, just with that pink comb that you see there. So it, it didn't get like really between the knots and whatever. So there is some hair that's falling out each time she's giving, but I don't feel any way. At this part, you might think that the hair is a bit tight, seeing how my skin is kind of lifting. But once it was done, um, my head rested and it was fine. This one was, however, a little bit on the tighter side. But it was fine. Like I said, it's nothing to like pull up my head side or anything. Really and truly. She just gave me a piece of hair right there. And we'll just be continuing this style um, right throughout. She'll be making small sections for the tiny hair at the front. Which she does in a normal braid. And then she'll make a bigger part for the larger braid, which will sh which she'll do in an inside corner or cane row, whatever you want to call it. Inside cane row, corner braid, whatever. Yeah, she's going to be doing those. So just watch how she makes the precise parts for the tinier braids. And, you know, likewise precise part for the bigger braids right throughout. Um, is it just me, but I'm always intrigued to see how people hold their hands when they are braiding. If you realize everybody does it differently, like you set your hand a bit weird, 
uh, when hair just does it, it looks so professional. Like how she sets her hands, it looks so, you know, much more professional than how I would do it. As you saw just now, once she makes the tiny corner, she then um braids it out a little bit further than the end, and then she leaves it um you know undone to just go ahead and tuck it into this bigger corner right here. As you can see, she's not really pulling on my edges that much. The ones I do have left and I haven't shaved off. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you see the hair is not being pulled so tightly. I guess the back of my head seems much softer than the front because towards the back, then you'll see uh, the skin kind of lift, you know, when she's tugging on it to get the braid in. But once she's braiding out towards the end, then you see, you know, it all rests and sits and then it's okay. But she's trying to go really, you know, quickly, even though this video is sped up, but she's trying her best and she's detangling with her fingers as she goes through too, which is why you'll see her pulling because like I said, my hair is definitely dry. You see, she's pulling and so you get hair bro broken off like it just did just now and she gave it to me. But you know, girl is working her hands right there because I couldn't do this kind of corner myself in my own hair. So, yeah, girl, I work her on them. She has moved them well fast. And she's doing it as best as possible. And if you're tender-headed, if your hair was in the state that my hair is in or was in at the moment, mentally I say, <laughs> you know, wins a lot because um the state it was in was very dry and hard to manage. And so she had to, like, put out a bit of extra pressure in trying to detangle and everything with her fingers so if you're tender-headed me until i say oh yeah they're ow 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 ouch ow oh my god when will this be over yeah you would definitely be like that so now we have switched sides so there's this random blue drum on this side of us and you know as a back wall but that's okay we're here for the hairstyle so she's just making her nice little parts again and working her magic and going through when I told her I wanted this style, um, I wasn't sure she understood what I was saying because I was like, oh, I want big corners, but I want some very tiny corners at the front uh, leading to the big corner. And so the vision that I gave her wasn't very clear, but she worked with it and it came out um, much perfect than than I actually thought it would have. So yeah, mama, I like that. I like the, f it's kind of a fork thing going on, you know, the one little tiny we call that one little tiny tooth on the fork and then the big one. <laughs> That's what it looks like. But yeah, also, side note, you know, see so my face looks kind of a bit glowy. Uh-huh. We're still seeing some dark spots, but my face looks like it's well with things. Yeah, you. Yeah, girl, I'm like that for us. I truly like that for us. And my video girl, uh, she, I didn't have my phone on any stabilizer or any handheld tripod or anything. She had it in her hands. But she did um, as best as expected. She got in close when she could have and pulled out. She kind of focused a lot on Munchi at some point, but <laughs> that's fine. As long as you see her hair, that's a okay. And we were chatting and laughing, yeah. Yeah, some things not fit for earplay, hence why the voiceover. <laughs> yeah, man, she tried though, because looking at my hair, you can see. Like, tell me in the comment down below if you can't see, like, that my hair is like evidently dry it looks like it needs to be treated and everything don't however anticipate that i'll be like giving my hair a major treatment anytime soon um i will do um deep conditions and i will do maybe hit uh, a hot oil treatment <laughs> but something more major than that i don't think so i'm just letting my hair like just vibe and just letting it flow and go on with its business for now because you know it is what it is i'm thinking of what to do with my hair next anyways one thing to note though if you're going to be doing these braids on somebody um it's like you see how big you can part at the front because you have i guess you have like a wider surface area maybe only on my head i don't know about your your head but once it gets to the back like you have to make sure the parts are kind of tiny once it goes towards the back because then you'll probably end up having like the beginning of four braids at the front of your head and then when you reach the back you can only accommodate for three if you get what i'm saying like there won't be too much hair because if you know how your head is shaped like at the back of it it's like 
tinier and then as it goes towards the front it kind of spread out a little bit what kind of shape would that be almost like a, a rounded triangle then <laughs> that's what it's like yeah so be sure to like um do the parts even just you know untidily before you begin if you're not a pro at braiding just to make sure you have outlined where the parts are in the head so that you don't go ahead and just start doing very nice braids towards the front and when you do like two three braids you realize oops i have space for one more at the front but how am i going to bring it all the way towards the back you get what i'm saying yeah so we are coming to the end of the hair now so far you see at the back it it really comes together and it looks much smaller but they look neat though. These inside corners are the bomb diggity bomb. Yes, and my hair looks a bit long, doesn't it? It actually looks good from this angle. <laughs> it looks nice, I like it. So, yeah. Here she goes again, removing more hair to hand it to me. Like, I'm telling you, <laughs> my hair was just popping out left, right, and center. Like it, I say, hello. Um, I'm dry, I'm broken, I'm not staying. So that's the front view when it's just done and this is the amount of hair that I um, collected from what she popped out and gave to me. It's quite a lot um, in relation to how big my hand is or how small depending on who is judging. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, if you saw in the video, I must have said it, that my hair was tearing out basically. That's no way to nice it up it never pretty not cute my hair I tear up because my hair is dry so right now it's still dry so after this i am going to treat my hair and do whatever else i do and i'll show you guys me doing it or whatever but like i didn't do anything to my hair like i said um when my having the kool-aid in there and the kool-aid is very drying it's very drying so it kind of dried up my hair that with lack of attention and when i had styled my hair in the bantu knots too i never detangled my hair because less manipulation sometimes is always best so i did not detangle really i just i detangled you now with my white tooth comb but i didn't like go through and you know spend much time because i just wanted my hair to be styled and that was it so that so you can see how much a hair came out when she was styling my hair Nonetheless, uh, no stress, uh, everything capacetic. I like my braids. I like my braids. Like I said, these are four days old. Get into it. Four days. Show me your braids that are this big that has that it wasn't done with any edge control or any, you know, let's jam, nothing at all. And they still sit like this. Show me those braids. Show me. No, honestly, show me. <laughs> show me. Uh, comment down below and tell me how long you've kept your natural hair in big braids how long they've lasted um what methods you may have used to keep them looking fresh and nice and so um in my last video moi 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 said uh, my skin is glowing hey <laughs> myself you know can me feel good about that <laughs> i feel good about that thank you moi i have been working on this skin you guys know if you know this is a random um rant after this video but guess what if you guys have been following me you know watching my videos and if you haven't you can go ahead and watch the videos that i'll put up um and go backtrack to all my videos you'll see that my skin has come a long way i want to see if i can talk about that too much because that's a whole video by itself so here we are Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Remember to walk out, live, love, laugh, and spread good vibes. Oh, please wear your masks. People are still not wearing their masks. And I don't understand what's keeping. The something still I keep. So wear your mask. Walk out, live, love, laugh, spread good vibes. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. It's your girl, Nicola.